Hey folks, it's uh, your old pal Gabe again. <laughs> That's like my calling card on IRC. I had enough uh, small, obscure inside jokes. Uh, today it's a brand new one. It's from Ear Real Ale Brewery uh, from Blanco, Texas. And it's their Brewer's Cut series, which is kind of like their experimental one off beers. But this is their number 19 beer. It's their, yeah, it's sadly out of focus, uh, Belgian style pale ale. And it says here, take a trip to Belgium with every sip of this session ale. So I'm thinking 4 or 5% alcohol. And uh, let's see. It was bottled on the 124th day of 2015, which is, I think, like the first day of May. I think. So it's only like two or three weeks old. So it's really fresh. Let's give it a crack. It costs uh, nine bucks for a six pack. Not that bad. So I'm gonna use this uh, this pint glass. It's a little wet. Uh, I just washed it right now, and I hate little water drops. They dilute the flavor, even though there's a, like some minute. Uh, minute. Um, I think that's the word. But still, I think they they'll destroy the flavor. But it's just like one or two drops. So I'm gonna pour it. And I don't think it's uh, unfiltered. I was looking at the bottom to see if there's any, um, like, uh, yeast. But, oh, no, there is, yeah. It, there's some sediment on the bottom, so that's a good sign. I'm going to save it towards the end, though. Yeah, it's very golden, pale amber. So nice set of fingers worth of head there. Uh, lots of bubbles. That's a good sign. Uh, let's go for a smell. Uh, very slight aroma. It's like kind of banana-ish. Um, not that much aroma, really. Some maybe some lemon zest. Um, some sugary uh, malts there. Not really getting that much aroma. Kind of. Maybe I need I need to pour like in a regular, like a snifter or a chalice, maybe. Okay, let's just go for a drink. Yeah, some slightly sugary malts. Um, it's almost like the like uh, like that peanut peanut based candy in marzipan. I think that's how to pronounce it. It's a spat like a Mexican candy. A little bit of like, hot nut flavor. I was expecting something more exotic, more Belgian esque. There's some coriander there, a little bit lime uh, flavors. It's actually really refreshing now, but it's so light on the palate. But I think that was kind of like uh, the intent, since it does say session, which is like gets on my nerves because it just means less flavor. We're holding it back so you, you can drink more. But hello, I don't like drink and drive, and I, I really don't go to a bar to drink session beers. It'll just be kind of like a waste of money, in my opinion. I want to drink big beers I can't find at the store if I go to a bar, but that's just me. Um, let's just go for a final swig. Some caramel malts there, but it's really like that lime, um, marzipan, uh, candy flavor, coriander, um, some slight caramel and hot nut flavor going action there. No really yeast uh, flavors, like, I don't know. This beer is kind of lacking. I bought a six pack, I'll probably finish it. It is drinkable, I give it a 7.5. It's not the best brewer's cup from Real Ale, but uh, pretty good deal. Belgian style paleo, number 19. I've had them all. <laughs> like, I know there's some that are unreleased, so there's going to be a coffee one coming out. But that's it for now, folks. Cheers.